Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new food review. Unfortunately, my camera just there has died. However, I'm going to have to resort to filming on my phone, which is a shame. So I thought I bought extra memory, but I haven't. So today I'm here at Zali's in, I would say, the heart of Peterborough, just off Lincoln Road, I would say. I just placed my order, which I'm really excited about. First impressions, it's quite a... Um, Quite a funky place, isn't it? Let me give you a 360. Not too bad, is it? It's just kind of like a cool, calm, collective vibe. Cannot wait to tuck into my food. So, bro, my first time here. Uh, I heard a lot about it on TripAdvisor and things like that. Uh, so, what would you recommend? Because I understand it's a quite simple menu, right? Yeah, yeah. So, what would you recommend? As you can see, it's a very, very, very simple menu. I decided to go for the Big Up Mac, which as you can see is 245 gram, 100% prime beef patties, a bit of cheese, lettuce, onion, pickle for that crunch, the Mac sauce and a toasted double cut sesame bun, priced at 5.99 for a meal. Something else that's pretty good is they do their own drinks and I saw this one, the Blue Mist and I had to choose that because Quite intrigued to be honest. Restaurant's pretty dead, so the review will hopefully go down quite quite nicely, I'd say. But look, I've already given you a pan of the restaurant, but it is quite nice, isn't it? I like how, what they've done with the place. It's black, yellow kind of vibe. So as you can see, the food has come. You've got these beautiful crispy fries. And then I'm gonna go straight on to the show stopper. So you've got turkey rashers, you've got a bit of lettuce, and then you've got a crispy chicken patty just there, and then I think some cheese just at the bottom there, and then you've got their, their kind of Big Mac equivalent, so as you can see, that's what I'm working with right now. To be honest, the size of it's a bit small, isn't it? It just fits in my fingertips, if I'm being honest, and it's like, yeah, it's about, what's that, a few inches. Oh well, I don't know where to start really, I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, let's not forget the blue mist drink. Very intrigued to see what this tastes like. So let's start off with the chicken... Uh, chi yeah, the chicken burger with the turkey rashers. Here we go. Mm. The first thing that hits me straight away is the smokiness. The turkey rashers. That aroma hits me straight away. The chicken's juicy, it's crisp on the outside. All the flavors work very well in this. It hasn't got too much sauce in it, which is brilliant. Sometimes what a lot of places do is they drown and drench the burger with sauces and you lose actually the meatiness, the, the kind of real taste within the burger. But yo, that is, that is good. So next is the Big Up Mac. Apparently this is what they're known for. It kind of reminds me of a few places in Birmingham where I've had this kind of food before. So I kind of know the standard. So let's try this. It has 245 gram, 100% prime beef patties. So here we go. That right there. It may not look the part, but it definitely tastes the part. It is, you have to take in consideration, it's a non-gourmet kind of beef burger. So the flavors are there, again, what you want. Definitely that element of smoky flavor. And then you have different components within your burger. You have the crunch and the bite from the lettuce and the onion. A bit of moisture from the sauce, smoothness from the cheese. These two burgers, right? I'm telling you this right now. This one looks apart, this one doesn't, but both definitely taste apart. Now, if I move on to kind of um, the two sauces they've given me, we've got, it smells like a, it smells like a spicy sauce. And then this one is 100% Algerian sauce. Algerian sauce is amazing. Look. Fantastic. That smoothness, you get bits of that, I think it's onion and pickle in that sauce. Mm -hmm. It's a great sauce, it's a cheesy sauce. I have got bottles and bottles and bottles of this at home. The chips, 
very good. They're crispy on the outside, crunchy on the inside, but what I haven't tried is this sauce here. It smells spicy. What is it? That's like a citrus. I swear to God, I'm tasting orange. Where am I getting that flavor from? Orangey. It's like, okay, hear me out. Spicy, orange, citrusy, chili sauce. That's the best way I can describe it. But back to the showstoppers. We're gonna get the Big Up Mac. Yeah. A very good burger. What a lot of places get wrong is the fact that they get the balance of flavors wrong. So sometimes one flavor can be quite overwhelming in comparison to the rest of the burger. So I'll give you a prime example. I already gave you, I already gave a prime example of they put a lot of sauce in and it kind of destroys all the flavors. You want to be tasting that meaty flavor. You want to be tasting sometimes those different elements, say for example, crispy or caramelized or grilled onions. You want to be tasting that in the burger. That's what makes it a good burger. Here's a message to all you guys who make burgers or are thinking of opening an establishment to do with burgers. What you need to do is make sure you get the balance right when it comes to flavors. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna try, um, they've got something called Blue Mist, I believe it's called. I've never had anything like it, but I'm just going to take a quick sip. So yeah, it's like a blue raspberry kind of. I don't know if you guys have had slush. It's definitely, if you, if you let that kind of uh, melt down, the blue part, that's what it tastes like. Very sugary, but I like it. I'm just going to finish off the review here. I've had a day that's packed full of food. So, coming on to food. This is very much like Slam Burger or Makalal in Birmingham. However, we are very lucky, those Brummies out there, that have establishments like that. So we know the standard of food when it comes to that kind of non-gourmet burger style. So I'm gonna score this one a 3.5 out of five for food. Service, I was chatting to the chat behind the counter. He's an 18 year old lad. Very nice, very polite good man, great character. So he's gonna get a good four out of five. Spoke to the owner too. He's like, yeah, do your review, don't worry about it. Good, as long as you don't get us in it or the back. Normally I try and get like behind the scenes, unfortunately, because they've just accepted a delivery. It's quite messy and X, Y, Z, so that's fine. I'll put their cleanliness score on the screen right now if they've been reviewed. Price per meal, it's about six pound, I'd say. So very reasonable for your standard burger, fries, dip, and then you've got a drink also. And speaking of drink, I love the fact that they do their own drinks. That's quite new to this kind of uh, establishment. So oh, last few views, the actual restaurant, it's, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite nice. Right guys, so there's my review. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, at Halal Munchies Reviews. And I've also got a TikTok now, so exactly the same, at Halal Munchies Reviews. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.